All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakudash, the ones to the Apostle James of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. All right, um, I just stumbled to this article right now. All right, and it's a very long article, so bear with me, please. Um, you know, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to read it to your, you know, by yourself. You're more than gladly. Um, all right, I'm just gonna get straight into it all right now bear with me please because this is a long article so you know i may cut it short or may not well the, we'll see how it goes all right so let's start it's from the guardian all right and it says the rise of microchipping are we ready for technology to get under the skin all right and, and this by now you know if if you guys that you know don't can't don't see that the mark of the beast is this microchip all right you see on the screen all right because the scripture says i know it shall receive it in their right hand all right or in their foreheads all right you could really receive it anywhere even in your left hand all right all right when you look up that word mark it means incision all right you're putting something under your skin all right so so you you, you guys are just clowns all right you, you you're clowns and you're gone man all right GMS has been teaching the truth about this chip, man, all right? And they got the 100% doctrine, all right? There's no other camp outside of GMS, all right, that has the 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 100% the, the truth like GMS, all right? So you guys that are out there scoffing and scorning, the Lord Yahweh by Shemashah is going to deal with you, man, all right? Because you, you, you're, you're, you're playing around, you're making fun of him, all right? And he, he's going to have a vendetta with you, all right? But, all right, um, it says, as implants grow, more common experts fear surveillance and exploitation of workers' advocates say concerns are irrational. All right, and this is dated yesterday. All right, this is a fresh new article, uh, Friday, November 8th, 2019. All right, now again, please bear with me. This is a very long article, so I may cut it short, but I try to, you know, read it as quickly and get the scripture as possible. It says on August 1st, 2017, workers at Three Square Market, a Wisconsin-based company specializing in vending machines, lined up in the office cafeteria to be implant implanted with microchips. One after the other, they, they held out a hand to a local tattoo artist who pushed a rice grain size implant into the flesh between the thumb and foreigner, all right? Booyah, all right? You guys, you know, you, you guys out there, you know, that are just, you know, playing around with the with the market of beasts, man. Look, man, you guys, I, I don't know, man. But let's get it. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right. And no man and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. Now we're going to look at. All right. Cause I know a lot of guys don't like it. Uh, 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 you look at the uh, look up a uh, uh, look looking at definitions. All right, they talk shit about that, but you have to look up your definitions cause, so you know exactly what it's talking about. All right. Now we're gonna look up the Greek word for for mark. All right, in the Greek, which is karagma. All right, and what does it say? A stamp or a stamp, an imprinted mark of the mark stamped it on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. The mark branded upon horses, all right, and, and, and that word brand is going to show up on that article, all right, so I'm, I'm going to continue reading this article. This is a real good article. Thing carved, carved, sculpture, graven work. What does it mean by carved? By putting it under your skin, all right? That's a stamp, all right? It's an imprinted mark, Okay. Like how you, 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 you stamp your pet, you put an RFID chip in your dog, all right, so in case it, it goes missing, 
you're able to find it but how do they how do they put that chip in the dog they put the chip under the dog's skin all right and that's the same thing all right that the esau wants to do to the masses of the people man all right you guys out there man you guys are playing games man with uh you know the mark of the beast all right It says, the 41 employees who opted into the procedure pre received compliment compliment eh, complimentary t-shirts that read, I got chipped. This wholesale implant event organized by company management, though detailed with Three Square Market, all right, so three, three Square Market was the first company in the U.S. Uh, to get microchipped, all right? But as when you start reading the article, you're going to see it got a lot of backlash, all right? Because a lot of people, well, um, you're going to see, watch. Long-term long vision of a cashless payment system for the vending machines, all right? So if they're using this microchip at Three Square Market just to pay for a, 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 a for food, all right? Just for, for, some, for some simple vending machines, what the hell you think they're going to use this chip for, man? When they want to uh, 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 give it out to the, uh, the whole world. You guys are stupid, man. All right. You guys are real fucking stupid. And you know that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. But like the apostle said, you're so prideful in your in your in, in, in your freaking way, you know, to, to 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 actually, you know, acknowledge that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip and acknowledge that GMS was right, man. And you're wrong. All right. I don't understand, man. It's real simple, man. How can you not tell that the mark of the beast is that RFID chip, man? It says, workplace snacks purchased with a flick of the wrist. W what was that quote that Nate said? It's June. Ain't no microchips. It's June. Well, June... Came and went. And guess what? The RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Alright? And there's already people getting chipped, man. Look at Sweden. Alright? You got all types of uh, chaos, riots going out throughout the whole world, man. Alright? For, for, for this chip, man, that, that's going to lead up to the end is this chip, man. Alright? Because the Lord said he's going to cause you know small and great man rich and poor all right so the most high is going to test the whole world man on this chip man all right and the only ones who are going to pass that test are the elect of the nation of israel only i'm going to say that again salvation is only for the israelites for you so-called negroes latinos and native americans you are the nations that are outside of our, our lineage You don't partake in that, all right? Your future is destruction and slavery, all right? Eternal slavery, all right? This wholesale implant, all right? I'm, 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 so lucky. I'm, it says, uh, and the televised chipping party pro pro proved to be a savvy marketing tactic, all right? So, you know, like they said, it, it was a televised chipping party. Well, when this chip come out, you guarantee that Esau, all right, and we know who Esau is, all right, he's going to use our own people, all right, these celebrities, you know, you so-called Negroes, the Hispanics, all right, to push this chip out, man. Why? Because our people are the salt of the flavor of the earth, man. So Esau is going to use that. He's going to use our people, you know, uh, 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 to promote this chip on, uh, 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 on, on, uh, He's going, to use, he's going to use Jake to promote this chip on Jake, man. All right? You're going to see celebrities like Lil Wayne, Kanye West. All right? And all these other so-called celebrities, man, that sold out in this society. All right? To promote that chip, man. All right? Proved to be a savvy marketing tactic. The story picked up by media outlets from Moscow to Sydney. All right? So out there in Russia and in, in Australia, man, they, they saw this, all right? Check this out. 
but not all the attention was positive. After the event, comments on Three Square Market's Facebook page urged employees to quit. The company's Google review page was in inundated with one star ratings and Christian groups convinced that the implant fulfilled at end of day prophecies where people are branded with the mark of the beast. All right. So you even got so-called Christians. All right. That are saying that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. But you dumbasses. All right. You clowns. You scoffers and scorners that, you know, scoff at, you know, the men of the Lord of GMS. All right. Because GMS. All right. Starting from Apostle Tahar on down, those men have the real truth, man. All right. And you guys are just scoffing and scorning, man. All right. The Lord's going to deal with you niggas because you, you making fun of his word, man. All right. And you fucking around with his prophecy, man. The Lord said he made all things. All right. And guess what? The Lord created this RFID chip. All right. And he used the so-called white man to do it. All right. You dumbasses. You forget that. Who's really behind this chip? The most high is, man. And he's using bitch ass E to do it. Accuse the company of being the Antichrist, which really there's many Antichrists. All right. Like you guys that say that the market of beasts is not the RFID chip. You're an Antichrist. Joan Osterlin, a Swedish tattooist and body piercing specialist whose company Biohacks provided the three square market with the microchips. Watch with interest. Let me see if I could try to play this video. All willing to play. Okay. Big deep breath in and exhale the stomach. That was it. That was okay. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be yeah. <laughs> compared to other piercings. Yeah, it's super quick, it's straightforward. Great. Well, obviously, with a master technician as well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Well, I don't know if I'm actually going to See, in a matter of a minute, she she got chipped, man. All right, and that's an Edomite, so she could take she could take the chip. Either way, she's gonna be destroyed. All right, and come back a, 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 as a slave right, in the kingdom. All right, the people who are aren't supposed to take this chip. Are you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans? You real Israelites, the real Israelites of the Bible, man. All you other nations outside, you're, you're, you're free to take it, man. You white people, Chinese, Arab, Africans, you, you can take the chip. The ones who aren't supposed to take this chip is of so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American descent. You Israelites, man. The real ones, man. That the Bible speaks of, man. All right? And it's clear as day, man. We're those people, man. Because those the, the prophecies fit us, man. All right? The curses, man. All right. It says for Osterland microchip implants were not radical or even novel. He had lived with one for years. All right. So this man has had chip he he had a chip you know for years, all right? <coughs> but watch and an apostle you know the apostles are right, man. Apostle Tar was right, man. They've been had this chip for a long time. And watch. You're going to see. Watch. When I continue reading. They've been had this chip even before the 2000s. All right. It says he had lived with one for years and had implanted hundreds of other young tech savvy Swedes. All right. And we know about Sweden. 95% of the population is already chipped. All right. And before anything comes to the West, it comes out in the East before it comes out to the West. All right. For this community, the chip signified a seamless integration of biology and technology. Bio meaning body, man. And technology meaning a machine. All right. Basically being a cyborg. All right. It says they use the implants to gain access to their working space, 
pay for gym memberships and even ride the train. With Biohacks, Austerlin was hoping to introduce this concept to a global market. Let's read it again. For you slow niggas. Alright. That's the one of the fight that it's not the, the, the chip. Revelations 13, 16. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Doesn't necessarily need to be the right hand. It could be the left hand too. And that no man might buy, 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 or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now you simple niggas that may watch this or may not. You probably talk about, oh, he's talking about machine. The article's talking about a vending machine. What that guy do with, with buying, going to the supermarket? You don't say supermarket. You simple niggas, man. This is going to be a global thing. Like it just said right there, man. All right? You could use this chip in the supermarket, at your job, at a government building. Anything, man. Even a clock in your job. All right. So so you dummies that still say that the mark of the beast is Christianity, a picture of Caesar Bourget or, or, or the Mosai, Yahweh Ba Shimmy Asha is going to deal with you, man. All right. Three square market was a test case. So that was a test case. All right. To see how, how people in, over here in the States would react. All right. And, and, and as you saw. All right. So-called Christians, all right, uh, 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 like the, the, these bubble bike, these Bible Belt Christians, all right, uh, they uh, 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 um, they protested that shit, man, all right, and the company, if you go on Google, it says they gave it a one that that uh, three square market has a a rating of a, a one star, man, all right, and people were warning the people in there to to quit, man, all right, so you could imagine. Already that that just by that alone, man, you gonna know how many people over here are gonna ref, uh refuse that chip, man. All right. So this is no joke, man. All right, you guys are playing around, you know, man. Look, man, it's just best to shut the fuck up, man, and just accept and and just be humble, man, and admit that you're wrong. All right. And time is going to show that you guys are wrong. All right. And the apostles are, are right. All right. It says. What was that? Um, I think it was up here. Just to make sure. Yeah. Three square market was a test case. The first company in the U.S. to offer implants to employees on a public stage. But the highly charged reaction, which linked the device not only to pernicious surveillance, but to a vision of tech apocalypse, raised the question that Austerlin is still grappling with. Is the world ready for technology to get under the skin? And what the scriptures say, karagma. And what did karagma mean? It meant a carving, an implant, a stamp, a branding. And that's exactly what this chip is, man. It's a branding of perpetual slavery to the elite bankers, man. All right. The so-called J's, all right, which are which are Edomites. All right. Microchip implants are essentially cylindrical barcodes. That when scanned transmits a unique signal through a layer of skin. All right, that'll be your you know your identification code. All right, that belongs to you personally, and only you have that code. All right. Mostly, they have been used to organize products or or warehouses, or identify livestock and stray pets, and that's the same barcode. Same signal that's going to track the people on the earth, man. All right. 
into a big database, man. And that's what Esau likes to do. He likes to track his property, man. Why, why you think when you go, when you leave the States, you know, you go to another country, what they ask for? A passport, man. All right? Because e, uh, Esau wants to know where his property is going at all time, man. All right? But but that's not a, a, a real good a, a tracking method, man. A piece of paper. And, and no, man. The chip is the perfect tool to track uh to keep track of his uh of his of his uh 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 his property man all right where you at at all times man all right he wants to track his slave man all right just like your birth certificate and social security is going to be your modern day uh, is your modern day slave papers well the the modern day slave paper will be the microchip man after it gets implemented, all right, social security and birth certificate, birth certificate is gonna be no more. That's all gonna be in your chip, man. All right, right along with your driver's license, your health records, your bank card, your whatever, man. You name it, it's gonna be on that chip, man. All right. You dumbasses that keep fighting with the apostles of Jim at the Mosai, Yahweh, Shimi Ashai is gonna deal with you, niggas, man. You guys are clowns, man. All right. It says, mostly they have been used to organize products or warehouses. Yeah, I read that already. Through, there has been some human experimentation. Let me read that again. Mostly they have been used to organize products or warehouses or identify livestock and stray pets. Though there has been some human experimentation. Check this out. In 1998... Kevin Warwick, a professor of cybernetics at Reading University, had a chip implemented in his hand, both to demonstrate that it was possible. So this is 1998. So that means they had that technology already, man. And even before 98, man. So these devils had this already planned, man, which shows you that the most high is true with his word, man. The Bible is a real book. And the chip is the mark of the beast. You idiots, man. So th that's back then in 98. Imagine how highly advanced that chip is now, man. All right, this is the internet of things. As you saw, it said combining biology with technology, man. Combining your body with, with machine, man. You guys are fucking idiots, man. You guys are real... Uh, uh, Retards, man. Here it is, a guy's uh, 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 is telling you, man. That with this chip, you're able to pay, you know, uh, get into your uh, your job, get in your car. You guys are idiots, man. And as a way of exploring the transhumanist idea that fusing technology with body is the next step in humanity evolution. Humanity's evolution. Austerlin first became aware of microchipping technology several years after Warwick's project. When his friend made a copy of his dog's chip and implanted it under his own skin, they were both part of the body modification scene in Sweden and frequently experimented with new techniques such as branding. Oh, 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 oh. Remember what I said? You're going to see that word branding? We're going to wait, wait. What did it say? Let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. Let's look up Mark again. What? what, what? We're going to look up Mark. Mark, Karagma in the Greek. All right. What what did it say? It said branding, right? If I'm not mistaken. What that say? Branding? A stamp. This is Mark in the in the Greek. All right. Karagma, as you can see. Okay. It says a stamp. An imprinted mark of the mark. Stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge 
of the followers of the Antichrist. The mark branded upon horses, thing carved, sculpture, graven work. A brand. When you brand something, you 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 you're saying that that belongs to me. That's my property. And spectrum piercing the dog chip was kind of a practical joke, so that when my friend went to the vet, he could be identified as his own pet Labrador, or whatever. Austerlin told me, but the idea of doing something more with implants stuck with me. All right. So this is a this is a double this is a Edomite right here, man. I'm telling you, man. All right. They're telling you that th this chip is, is is meant to brand a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, people, man. Not not just dogs, but brand uh, regular people, man. Humans, man. This is the elite's uh, branding mark, man. For the masses of the people, man. And this is what they want to push out, man. All right, that that's why you've seen all uh, 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 all this chaos, man. With, with with these uh, uh uh different nations, man, and the uh, uh, the the whole world it is at a a, a a riot state right now, man, and that's scriptural, man. It says, "Thou shalt see a a, a riot." R roughly paraphrasing it, all right. You sh you shall see uproars of the people, man, and that's all you're seeing, man. In China and in Sweden, you still got the 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 yellow vest, uh 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 riots going on since last year, man. You got riots in Chile, uh, 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 everywhere, man, everywhere, man. People are rioting, man, all right? Because they've seen the time we coming in, man, all right? What these people are about to do, man, they're about to crash this whole world economy, man, all right? And bring in one world order, man, where everybody's under one roof, man, all right? And everybody's chipped. You dumbasses that, that, that keep playing around, man. That's saying that the chip ain't the beast, mark of the beast, man. Ain't hey, the hell with you, man. All right. It says in 2013, Austerlin stumbled upon a German company selling industrial grade microchips online. Unlike the chips used in pets, which can only transmit a signal identification number, these devices were enabled with communication protocols called NFC, which NFC is near field communication. Right, which can be programmed to perform simple tasks. And what are those tasks? What are those simple tasks? You might ask. Well, scanning, paying for your food. All right, uh, getting to your job. All right, uh, uh, paying to get on the train or paying to get on the plane. All right, opening your car, getting into your house, turning on your computer, buying things online. All right, if you have your phone or or, or whatever. All right. Don't be surprised, man. All right. We 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 talking about the double here. All right. The so-called, you know who. All right. Bitch ass E. All right. Austin ordered a batch and wrote a basic program that paired his Samsung Five to the microchip, so that it would automatically call his wife when he picked up the phone on the first implant attempt. Austin and accidentally broke the tiny fuse in the chip while sterilizing it, but the second attempt stuck. When he touched his phone, it automatically triggered a, a call to his wife. And you saw that, that same thing that they're saying there, you saw that in the episode of Black Mirror, man. All right? Where the girl didn't even have a cell phone. She was just, uh, 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 um, she, she picked up her hand and just, uh, uh, randomly just, Called somebody without even having a phone in her hand, man. So y you know that that chip is going to do a lot of uh, so-called miracles, man. Demonic miracles on the left-hand side, all right? It was like body was... It was like my body was online. And what did the Apostle Tahar said? The Internet of Things, man. Human and technology by... Biology, all right, bio and technology being one, 
a cyborg. All right. Basically being a cyborg, man. Human with machine. And that's what this devil imagines. Uh, he imagines, man. And that's why the scripture says, uh, 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 he's going to, the most high is going to cut the time short, man. Or say, so ain't going to be no flesh to be saved because this devil is going to kill hum humankind, man. He's even going to kill himself because he's such of a double, man. The so-called white man, bitch ass E, man. It was my very own Johnny Manomomic moment. Now, I, 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 I searched that up, all right? And it's a film, all right? It says, Johnny, I can't say that name, Menomomic is a 1995 Canadian-American cyberpunk action thriller film directed by Robert Longo in his directorial debut. The film stars Cunia Reeves and Dolph Lundgren. The film is based on the story of the same name by William Gibson. Kinu Revis plays the title character, a man with a cybernetic brain implant. Ooh, ooh, that rings a bell. Designs to store information. That chip, man. We're going back. What? What did it say? Hold on. Now we're going to go back to it again. All right. Back to it again for you slow ones. It says... He calls of all, sm both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Foreheads meaning brain, man. All right? Not your literal forehead. It meaning in your brain. And, and, and what did that devil uh, that owns T Telsa said? Uh, I, I forgot his name. Um, His name esca uh, escapes me. Um, um, You know, that devil that owns Telsa. He said by next year he's gonna uh 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 start um testing people with chips in their foreheads, man. So you you, you people man, you 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 niggas out there that, that, that say that the chip ain't the mark of the beast. The Lord's gonna deal with you, alright, and your family members, alright? It says Excited, Austin and reached out to a friend called Hannes Sejo Blad, who was associated with the transhumanistic community in Sweden. All right, so so that guy was you know heavy. Uh, he was heavily involved in, in, in why Sweden is is ninety five percent microchipped. I assume, you know. Well, I'm not saying him specifically, but he, he said he was uh, associated with that you know transhumanistic community in Sweden. All right, and we know Sweden's already 95% populated, uh, chipped. All right, it says, Say Joe Blad was impressed with Austerland's experiment and invited him to hold a demonstration at Epicenter, a, te a, tech, a tech focused co working space in Stockholm, where Say, say Joe, I can't say this motherfucker's name, Say Joe Blad was the chief, dis dis I can't even read, right? Chief Disruption Officer. Salaki for the reading. My mouth is dry, so when I read it, just, it just gets dry, but I can't read right. I mean, yeah, read right. Other young in innovators and startup founders at Epicenter were intrigued with Austerlin's implant, and soon he and Sejoblad were hosting chips and beer evenings. Austerlin would implant microchips over alcoholic beverages and share ideas about what new cyborg applications were possible. In no time, Expen Center was updated to be biochip compatible, and suddenly we were opening the front door and printing documents with implants. Sejo Blad told me it was all community-based development, and it was super exciting. Today, Austin and, and Sejo Blad have their own microchip-focused businesses, Austerland Biohacks is aiming to simplify identi identity and access in the digital world, offering a replacement, here we go, to the seamless, endless collection of passwords, keys, tickets, cards, and clutter our lives, all right? And there's many other things that it can do that it didn't say there, all right? Your credit cards, your keys, like it said, all right, your birth birth certificate, social security, all right, everything about you in that chip, man. 
all right with the chip it's all in this one tiny device that is impossible to lose he said all right and that's exactly why you know uh uh, uh ESO has been having all these so-called fake uh, uh cyber uh, cyber attacks you know with the, with the credit cards and 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 all this bullshit all right so why he 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 could present this chip and say you know if you put this chip you won't be able to lose it all right it it's it's securable all right you won't lose your credit card or or your money no more all right you, you you'll have this it'll be on this chip and it's going to be safe in your um implemented in, under under the skin of your hand man all right you won't be able to lose it it's going to be chipped under your skin man Sejo Blad's business, a disruptive which is based out of an university in southern Sweden, approaches microchipping as an extension of the wearable health tracking industry. Sejo Blad believes that by placing a device under the skin instead of wearing it like a Fitbit, data collection will be greatly improved. Swipe it with an iPhone. Ooh, what I told you. You'll be able to make purchases with your phone. All you got to do is, is scan your phone over your hand. All right, over your microchip and that and voila, you bought it. All right, they ain't going to be no more uh, adding your credit card number. In, in, no, man. They're going to say swipe your swipe a uh, uh, place. And however they do it, you know, a uh, uh, place your hand in front of the camera and, and just uh, swipe, man. Or swipe your, your phone o over your microchip. All right. It says swipe it with an iPhone and you will be able to get your blood oxygen temperature profile. Heart rate patterns, breathing patterns. He said, for people who want to optimize their health, this would be a game changer. There are other companies pushing the line, the limits of what microchips implants can do, most notably the Seattle-based Dangerous Things, which sells a variety of bio-enabled -en devices, including multicolored LED lights that light up beneath the skin. All right, so you could, so you're able to see your chip and know where it's at. All right, but. Austin believes that Sweden will be the fo focal point of cyborg innovation. Yeah, because it's the only country in the world right now that's heavily chipped right now. All right? But, the, you know, China and Russia and all these other countries will soon follow, including America. All right? Like the scripture said, he calls of all both small and great. All right? Will be the focal point of cyber cyborg innovation. The nation railway is already compatible with my chips and as a country... We are planning to be totally cashless by 2023. Look at that, man. That's only three years from now. All right? So we're at the end, man. He told me. All right? So Sweden is planning to be cashless by 2023. And that's it. No more cash. They're a total chipped society, man, over there. I guess here you can see an example of how it can be done. But... Urs Gazer, executive director at Harvard Birkenham Clean Center for Internet and Society, believes a scaling up beyond the Swedish tech hub environment to a broader market will be more legally and ethical tenuous that Austerland might accept. This experiment has so far happened in a wealthy country among very digitally savvy people, he said, and while having a chip may play out nicely, For well-educated people in Sweden who are part of a digital hub, I question how this will play out for, say, a worker in a warehouse. Indeed, Gazer believes that many people reacted negatively, negatively to the Three Square Market's highly publicized chipping event because it symbolized power imbalances in the workplace. Yeah, because you're a total slave, man. They track you, man, and they control you, all right? I'm not talking about three square market. I'm talking about you know, what these elites plan to do, man. All right. Your old taxes, they take it out without your say. All right. So that's total controlment of people, man. That's slavery, man. All right. It says. Chipping event is symbolized power imbalances in the workplace. Conjuring dystopian images of an authority authorization. Authority Salakia. 
authoritarian employer dehumanizing and controlling workers. You see, seeing employees get implanted at the workplace made people question what it means to be an employee. Which employee is means slave, man, all right? You're a slave when you're an employee, all right? He said, and that's why you have a, a supervisor, all right, over you, all right, watching the slaves, all right. That's what you are here in America, all right, he's a slave, man, all right. Well, really, all, all over the world. He's, he said, are you a person being paid for your work or are you the property of the company you work for? And that's exactly what... what uh, what you're going to be, all right, when people take this chip, that's all you're going to be is property to the bankers, man. All right, the Rothschilds, all right. They own you, all right. The Goyim, all right, which means sheep, all right. Ifomia Ajwana, professor of labor and employment law at Cornell University, adds that it's it is a crucial to consider the implications of microchipping technology in the context of increasing worker surveillance. In a 2016 paper, Limitless Worker Surveillance, Ajuwana and, co and her co-authors, Kate Crawford and Jason Schulitz, urged that the new data collection methods, tracking internet history, DNA testing, collection of health data as part of workplace wellness programs, not only provide employers a more intimate data profile of their employees and the workplace, but bleed into their private and internal lives. Microchips Ajuwana says will deepen and intensify this dynamic. They have the potential for consistent and intimate surveillance. They literally go with the worker wherever they work the worker goes. This seems to blur the line between work and family life. And that's all it's about, man. To track you. To track to track his uh to track Esau wants to track his slaves, alright, wherever they go and what they're doing at all times. Alright? That's what Esau loves to do is spy on people, man. Alright. Concerns about how microchips microchipping might be implemented in the company years have also been raised by a number of U.S. lawmakers, including Skip Daly, a Democratic in the Nevada State Assembly, who in March introduced a bill to make involuntary microchip illegal in the state, which they're going to do away with that, all right? Because in all, in all of America, they're going to push that chip. Arkansas, New Jersey, and Tennessee also are defrauding drafting legislation centered around implants. In a company statement, Three Square Market was careful to emphasize that its chipping party was inter internally voluntary. Well, the scripture says otherwise, all right? When this white man comes down with wrath, all right? Look, read it again, Revelation 13 and 16. He causeth all, all right? Didn't say he voluntarily made all. He causeth all, meaning... uh. Uh, um, the word escapes my mind. God damn it. Um, meaning he forced, all right, forced the people, all right. So you have no say, all right. He and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Alright? Didn't say he voluntarily caused all both small nor. He caused causeth all. Alright. So it's mandatory, alright? Alright, so Esau is gonna mandate this uh 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 for, for the masses of the people to have this chip. Alright, it's gonna be mandatory. Alright, it ain't gonna be voluntarily no more. That's gonna be do, done away with. That's why Esau's doing away uh Having all these uh, 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 false flag uh, uh, gun shootings, all right? Because he's doing away w w with the so-called, uh, 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 um, <clears throat> whatchamacallit, um, 
the, the, the rights of, of the people here in America, man. All right? Take away your guns. All right? There ain't going to be no such thing as free. There's, first of all, America is not a free country, all right? You're a slave here, all right? So I don't know why, why they have that bullshit anyways. But according to Ajuana, because labor laws in the U.S. often skew in favor of the employer, worker can still be subject to coercion cor cor when it comes to surveillance tech. Uh, let me see how much we got left. Uh, we, don't got, we don't got much, so I'll finish it. It says, in 2015, for example, a woman was fired after she deleted an employee tracking app that recorded her movements even when she was not at work. In another recent case, an employer was found to have demanded employee provide DNA samples for genetic testing after human feces was found in their workplace. Ajuana says that it's that in the absence of clear labor regulations that prevent workplace procedures to submit to surveillance, employees might feel pressured To say yes to microchips, even if they have reservations, All right? So, ESO is gonna make it where he's gonna make it mandatory, all right? And how's he gonna do that? By having your head, uh, having these guillotines ready, all right? Because it's it's already out there, man. You go on YouTube and you see plenty of guillotines and 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 and, and FEMA camps, all right? That they uh, they they block it off. Or it says do not enter, all right? But we know what those are, man. And, 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 and we know how Esau is going to come. All right. The scripture said the devil know but he have a little, little time to rule. All right. And let's talk about the so-called white man. All right. E. All right. Bitch ass E. All right. When I raised these concerns with Osterlin, he said that for microchipping to scale successfully, new legal frameworks particularly around informed consistent were essential. In fact, part of the reason he believes Swedes have been early adapters of microchipping is because of a stronger labor regulation and data protection laws such as Europe's general data protection regulation, which he believes creates an atmosphere of trust between government and society, employer and worker. All right, which that's bullshit. All right, that's attract your ass and make you a slave. Yet both he and Sejo Blad has oh Slaki. Yet both he and Sejo Blad also presume that much of the fear elicited by microchips is founded less on privacy concerns and more on irrational pre prejudice against implants. Microchips microchips are in are in her inert and passive. Basically like swipe cards that you can't lose Osterlin said, so I find it ironic when people with an iPhone and a Gmail account get on Facebook to scream about privacy just because they're freaked out about, they're freaked out by the incision. All right. And there you go again, incision. All right. That we respond to, to new technologies in an emotional or psychological way, though this is unavoidable particularly all right so it's unavoidable and, and, and it's going to be unavoidable because the lord it's already prophesied that this is going to happen man all right the lord said he changed not all right he also said that not one jar of tittle shall any way pass before um before uh, until all is is uh, completed man roughly paraphrasing it and that chip is prophesied to, to happen and it's going to happen, all right? Particularly when body modification is evolved for Gazer, these emotional responses should not be immediately dismissed as superstitious or uh, illogical. The fear we feel in rela with relations to microchips is less about a particular technology and more about the technology. In the context of power and uneven power structures like employer and worker, he said, and when those dynamics are implemented in our bodies, 
there is a line we cross that simply feels different. Yeah, you, 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 you uh, 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 you're connected with the internet, man. All right, internet of things. Are right? you're a cyborg, man? All right, and that chip is gonna, uh, uh, you know, not only uh, uh, help you with uh daily essentials. All right, but it's gonna deal with your frequencies in your body, man. All right, it's gonna make you feel sad, depressed, happy. All right. And that's what the so-called, you know, that's what E wants to do, man. He wants to sit on the throne as of the most high, as if he was the most high, man. All right? With this chip, Esau wants to think that he's a Yahweh, man. And he's not Yahweh. He's just a bitch-ass E. Now, I'm going to leave the link in, you know, in, of this article in the description box. You know, sorry if I, if I, you know, took long, but this was a long article. My eyes feel heavy and just I can't speak right anymore. Um, mouth is dry, but um, you know, this further proves that the market chip is the mark of the beast, man. All right, there's no going around it, under, uh, under it, uh, over it. The chip is the beast, the the mark of the beast. All right. With that, I have to give all praise to Yahweh Shemiah Shai Ba Hashem Kakudash Shalom.